how to make a best-selling NFT. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a bestseller NFT. So let's get into it. Now, as much as we all would like to create one NFT and make a million dollars, we cannot do that. So how do you actually sell NFTs and make a bunch of money? Well, I have some tips and tricks for you to follow. But before we get into those, I would like to discuss what are NFTs. So NFTs are non-fungible tokens, which means that they are like one of a kind token so a one of a kind image that you can basically collect so there are uh, images there are audio clips video clips anything uh, digital cards there are a lot of different resources and what nfts basically are they are present on the blockchain and the blockchain detects where they were originated from to where they are currently present so everyone can browse who had the previous ownership and if you have the legitimate original nft or not so that is what an NFT is. Now, how can you create a bestseller? Well, the first thing is to create a brand story. So if you take a look at Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk is one of the popular NFT collections out there. Um, there are a bunch of different NFT collections, but if you go on to Cyberpunk Volume 1, this is like a great little NFT collection. Now, there are several different kinds of NFT collections out there that you can pick from, and that is what you're going to do as well. So create a brand create a brand story you can't just make one nft and then just list it for a thousand dollars and someone will buy it people are 56 percent more likely to buy your nft if you attach a story to it so that is the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to attach a story to your nft don't leave it like a simple basic boring nft attach a story link it to an event link it to a story link it to like your childhood anything that you can think of give your nft a story now the second thing that you need to do to create a bestseller nft is find your market so there are many different marketplaces available like OpenSea, you have Binance, you have Rarible. So there are quite a few different NFT marketplaces that you can opt for. So pick out the ones that you want to sell and maybe create accounts. All you have to do is click on your crypto wallet. So I have MetaMask over here and then you just have to connect your crypto wallet onto the NFT marketplace and then you can start selling and you can create an account on all three of these top marketplaces and see where your NFT NFTs are selling out the fastest and then you can focus on that platform now can you sell without a marketplace you can but why would you vote without a pedal so it's far more better and it's going to be a lot more helpful for you if you actually go on to a marketplace now the next thing that you need to do to make a best-selling nft is establish yourself now you can't be a nobody from nowhere and expect that you're going to make millions of dollars in nfts so you need to create your own portfolio as well and i would recommend that you create it on b hands or any other kind of graphic portfolios whatever kind of nft that you're creating just create your portfolio before that or establish a name for yourself in the field before you go in and start uploading your nfts now the next thing that you need to do to create a best-selling nft is to use the nft hashtag so a lot of the times people are going to find your nfts not even on marketplaces but they will be browsing your nfts you're coming across the nft that you have created on social platforms like twitter and instagram so all you have to do is add the top hashtags like nft digital art nft collectible all of these basic hashtags and upload samples or previews of your nft onto social media platforms like this so you can see that this is like a very popular little nft and they just posted this and added the nft hashtag digital asset non-fungible ethereum so you want to make sure that you add specifically these four hashtags because they are some of the most popular hashtags out there for people that are looking for nfts or browsing the nft community so make sure to add previews on social media platforms and use the nft hashtags now the next thing that you need to do to make a bestseller is to have a good listing a lot of the times like let's say i come across a nft so if i go on to collectibles and before i even look at the image the first thing i'm going to be actually seeing is the listing of the nft so if i search for girl over here and i scroll down 
you can see these are the listings and before I even look at the images, the first thing I'm going to be looking at is the listing. So make sure you're creating an attractive listing for your NFT. Now you want to make sure you add accurate hashtags, you add accurate information about the NFT onto your listing, make sure you have a good preview, make sure you have like a good amount of buzz around the listing as well because a lot of the times before they even view your NFT, they're going to be looking at the listing and the title. So make sure you're adding an attractive title onto your NFT as well. Now, the next two things are pretty much hyperlinked into each other, which is pricing your nfts properly and creating a quality standard so let's say if you're creating this kind of nft all of these are around the same price range but if you're just a beginner i would recommend starting your nft prices at 0, 0.0 eth and then you can go up to 0. 0.5 eth for a better nft and then accordingly you can increase the prices of your nfts as well so that is something you need to keep into mind don't ever overprice your nft if you're just a beginner no one's going to buy it and uh, the reason that you're going to make it 0. 0.05 eth and in your initial nfts is that that price will cover the minting costs and all of the transaction fees while still giving you like a tiny little profit and the customers that are going to purchase that are going to feel like oh this is in my budget and i can purchase it so you're going to have a wider marketplace to sell your nfts too now other than that, you need to choose your NFT type. So these are all like NFT tokens or collectibles, but there are many different types of NFTs. Like um, there are audio NFT, there are virtual worlds, there is music, there is trading cards, there is collectibles, domain names, art. So some of these are a bit more difficult to create, like virtual worlds, but easy NFT collections that you can get started with are collectibles, art, music, and trading cards. Or photography as well that's pretty simple but collectibles and arts are some of the most lucrative nft collections out there so if you want to milk the nft market go for collectibles or art in your nft collection now the last and most important thing to make the most amount of money with nft collections is that you need to create a collection don't make a standalone NFT, create a collection. So you can see like gutter dogs. This is like a very long collection of NFT, gutter pigeons, gutter cat gang. So gutter labs is creating so many different kinds of the same NFT. And like if I whip out my handy dandy calculator, let's say if you were earning $10 on every one NFT you sold. So if you made one standalone NFT, you would only be earning $10. But let's say you went ahead and you made $10 and you multiply that by um, 100, so you made 100 NFTs, and instead of earning $10, you're going to be earning $8,000 with the same NFT, and basically you're just going to make a collection, and a collection is just like one base NFT edited a few times, so you need to make sure that you're creating collections instead of standalone NFTs for the most amount of money, and then you can also promote your collections on platforms like nftcalendar.io to get better buzz around your NFT collection, so that was it for today, I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video